Um, one of the things to keep in mind with pits is the the way that uh, I'm just gonna say how it is. The way that the city operates, um, that is even close when it comes to pitting. Yeah, you don't, you don't actually need that. to make contact with the car because of where your car is in reference to their eyes. You're gonna make contact with the I'm I'm in their back seat right now. If we're going 100 miles an hour and I am that close to that car, I'm basically in it's their latency back seat. through and through. You gotta you gotta keep in mind that there's a bubble between you and their car, and the bubble is. I mean, from me, me to crane right now is the length of the bubble that your car actually has when you're traveling at faster speed. Well, I don't want to send you into another car. <laughs> Do whatever. So with the latency that you have in the 5M server, um, it allows things like this to happen. Where it feels like it isn't, you're not even close to pitting, but you still pit. That's because of the latency. So when I demonstrate in the demonstration portion of this video how to pit, on my screen you see that I don't touch the vehicle. But when I'm inside the vehicle that's being pit, you see that he touches the vehicle. This is because of the latency. So in the following pictures, you'll see that there's this uh, arbitrary uh, circle I have around my vehicle. That's what you need to remember when you're going to pit. Because you don't want your actual vehicle that you can see to hit that vehicle. Because it's wrong, like Austin said. You want the bubble of the, uh, of the vehicle, uh, or around the vehicle, to hit the other vehicle. And, I, and once again, go back to the demonstration portion of the video and you can see when um, it, it's basically like I'm hitting a ghost. That's just because of the latency, pings, all that client side. Like it, it's all a bunch of confusing stuff, but it's really simple when you put it down. It's like, okay, I have a circle around my vehicle and I just need to hit the tip of the circle with the back of the vehicle. And then you'll pit every time and you will not do a damage to your own vehicle from your end. Now the other player will see it, but that doesn't matter because you don't see it. So your vehicle's technically not damaged. 